Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. And we are back with History of Jank, and I am in the, uh, in the Jank tank. I'm in a tank. Uh, I seem to have misplaced the Jank tank. In my defense, it's been about nine months since I last lost a game. I was just expecting I'd win out from this position. Uh, I'm sure it's in the wash or something. In the meantime, let's see what we've still got on the wheel. Gem Knight, Resonator, and Prediction Princess, and I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to respin until I hit Gem Knight. That's what I feel like playing today. Nope, that's not Gem Knight. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh my, oh my God. I have sleeves. I'm out of the jank tank and it's, it's thanks to Fluffle of all things. That's incredible. I, I mean, honestly, Joseph was playing a gimmicky FTK deck and he whiffed. But in any case, Fluffle got us out of the jank tank, ladies and gentlemen, and we are planning on staying here. So let's spin the wheel. Uh, we got some decent decks and let's hope that, oh, geez. While it may suck to have lost our first jank in about 100 years, I'm very happy I get to run it back with one of my favorite decks of all time, Gem Knight. You may know Gem Knight as a degenerate FTK strategy, which was legal for the better part of two years, Solid Rocks, Brother, and the like. But in actuality, Gem Knight was playable far earlier, thanks to a little card you may have heard of called Brilliant Fusion. This continuous spell is analogous to Future Fusion, an incredibly powerful tool abused by a ton of decks in order to send cards from the deck to the graveyard. But nowhere is it more powerful than in its namesake deck deck, Gem Knight. Eventually, cards like Block Dragon would push this strategy over the edge and allow it to use the newly released Lady Lapis Lazuli to burn the opponent to death on its very first turn, but now we are playing it as intended as a blind second OTK strategy. So what's the game plan? Well, as you can see, a significant amount of our deck is normal monsters. Tourmaline, Sapphire, Garnet, and Lapis. Those cards enable us to make use of a couple of really powerful effect monsters, Obsidian and Lazuli. By utilizing their effects, we will never run out of normal monsters. Lazuli adds them back to hand and Obsidian summons them back to the field, which means we'll always have material for repeatable copies of Gem Knight Fusion. This fusion spell is polymerization, but can banish a Gem Knight from the graveyard to add it back to your hand to get multiple fusions onto the field on your very first turn. From that position, you are set. We've got copies of Gem Knight Zirconia, which has, you know, big number. We've got Gem Knight Lady Lapis Lazuli, which is a 2400 attack monster that has to use Gem Knight Lapis and once per turn can send a Gem Knight from your main or extra deck to the graveyard to burn your opponent for 500 for each special summon monster on the field. We have Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond, which has 3400 attack, requires three materials, and can send a Gem Knight monster you control to the graveyard to special summon a Gem Knight Fusion from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Gem Knight Master Diamond, which can copy a Gem Knight's effects in the graveyard, including the Lapis Lazuli in order to burn for even more, and of course, old mainstay Gem Knight Seraphonite, which allows you to perform a double summon. Because we have access to more fusion monsters, we're also playing Gem Knight Citrine, Prismura, Amethyst, and two copies of Ruby, which theoretically could come up. Uh, Ruby gives them piercing, for instance. Finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about another very powerful fusion card that's playable in exactly Gem Knight, Absorb Fusion. This card allows you to add a Gem Knight card from your deck to your hand, then apply this effect. Fusion, summon a Gem Knight fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your hand or side of the field, and you can only activate one per turn and can't special summon monsters the turn you activate this card except gem knights that last sentence is the reason it never saw mainstream tcg success but for our purposes it's fantastic crystal rose is a gem knight melodious crossover card from the anime which is kind of foolish burial gem armadillo is kind of stratos and of course we have room for cards like danko seca to shut down any back row that might give us pause this deck was powerful at release, but unfortunately, blind seconding was a not in vogue. That's because not only were the top decks able to put up a ton of interaction, they were also floaty. Burning Abyss and Shadow could just go forever, summoning cards from their graveyard and deck. And of course, Necroz had this little card called Valkyris, which complicated anyone attempting to OTK. That said, this deck was a local legend, 
does have a couple of tops during this period, and I am excited to take down Alex and reclaim our rightful throne atop the Tower of Jank. So a lot of you might see Red Eyes Fusion and immediately have war flashbacks to Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, but this may surprise you. This support existed before Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Now, was it any good? Well, the fact that it's in History of Jank should tell you, you know, exactly how that played out. This is Red Eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, these cards are something. I, I can say that much. Uh, they're interesting, to say the least. I think... They kind of wanted to give the red eyes, uh, rather the blue eyes treatment to red eyes, I feel like, because a lot of the cards sort of like feel inspired, but obviously they want to give red eyes its own gimmick as well. Like we have black stone of legend versus white stone of legend, things like that. And um, it makes a deck. I wouldn't exactly call it like in the tier that blue eyes is, which is why I feel like, you know, th that just solidifies that blue eyes is the better archetype. And, you know, just overall, not just in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh itself. But in any case, uh, we're going to try our best here. At least we actually have some gigantic dudes. And honestly, I feel like in jank gigantic things usually end up winning so let's do the card by card uh first up is black metal dragon this is you know your dragon link staple card here but you can target a red eyes monster you control equip this monster from your hand or field to that target to gain 600 attack and if it's sent from the field of the grave you can add a red eyes card from your deck to your hand that's any red eyes card notably carbon Neden, anytime you see this guy it's usually not good but i feel like in this deck it's maybe the exception to the rule uh if it battles a fire monster during damage calc it gains a thousand attack that does like literally doesn't matter you can banish from your grave more importantly special summon from your hand or deck one level seven or lower dragon normal monster in face up defense position you can only use this effect of carbon end once per turn so obviously that makes sense because we are playing red eyes honestly like this artwork's cool i kind of like the original so i'm going to swap that out you know mid recording just because i'm like that let's see where's the uh, where's the normal artwork Am I crazy? Where? Oh, there it is. I'm just completely blind. Okay, there we go. Now we can add this in here. We're all good to go. Uh, next up's Dad, because, you know, Dad, why not? Uh, Keeper of the Shrine is kind of neat. It can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a dragon monster. Try saying that 10 times fast. And while it's in the hand or graveyard to face up dragon monster on the field, except Shrine is sent to the graveyard by a card effect or because it was destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card. Then if that monster was a normal monster, you can add a dragon normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. So that's kind of neat. King of Bio is kind of funny just because we can get back like uh, Blackstone of Legend, which is kind of sick. It's like kind of a throwback to the Chaos Piper, but I mean... I don't even know if it's that good. It's probably not good enough to compare it to that. Max C is probably the best card in this deck, to be honest. Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon is kind of sick. Uh, it's a Gemini, so that should uh, that should tell you how well this is going to go. Uh, it's Gemini effect is if damage calc is involved with this card, at the end of the battle phase, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the cards this card's original attack. So you can just burn your opponent into oblivion. Red MD is still limited, I'm pretty sure. Black Stone of Legend says you contribute it to special summon a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck. And if it's in your graveyard, you can target a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster in your grave shuffle it into the deck and if you do add this card to your hand you can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn and then we have triple red eyes black dragon and double summon skull because uh we need these for our extra deck for the spells we have an allure cards of the red stone is kind of neat uh you basically get to trade in your red eyes but then you also get to send a level seven red eyes from your deck to grave so it's trade in and foolish in archetype in one which sounds crazy but uh you know for this deck it is but you know obviously a lot of other decks would like to have something like that a lot better dragon shrine just foolish burial for dragons dragons mirrors not Nice because we can actually summon Archfiend Black Skull Dragon rather easily since it's easy for us to get all the materials engraved for it. It needs Summon Skull and any Red Eyes normal monster, which thankfully the Gemini monster counts as that while it's in the graveyard, which is nice. You can only special summon it once per turn, which is a weird stipulation. And then if it battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. And if damage calc is performed involving that fusion summon card, at the end of the battle phase, you can target a Red Eyes normal monster in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack in the graveyard, then shuffle it into the deck. So you can just get in a huge amount of damage attacking with this and then also inflict another 2400 on your opponent as well. Then of course we have Foolish 1 for 1, Triple Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, Red Eyes Fusion is nice because you can actually just send from deck. Uh, so that means that we can get into like Archfiend Black Skull Dragon and then like have Dragon's Mirror for the next turn to just continuously summon big dudes. Uh, then we have Silver's Cry for our normal monsters. We have Soul Charge because it's broken, Triple Upstart Goblin, and then the Traps, it's Vanities and Return of the Red Eyes. If you control Red Eyes Monster, you can target a normal monster in your grave. Special Summon it. If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to your graveyard, you can target a Red Eyes monster in your graveyard. Special summon, you can only use that effect once per turn. The extra, of course, we have the triple Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Then we have a ton of Xyz, including Gaia Dragon, Ghost Trick, Angel of Mischief, Dolahan, and then we have Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, Big Eye, and Dyson Sphere making an appearance again two episodes in a row. Uh, we can overlay two Archfiend Black Skull Dragons into this. I don't know if we would want to do that, but it'd be very fucking funny considering the way last episode went. Utopic Future, uh, Phantom Fortress, Enter Blathier, and Triple 
Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. If you've never seen this card before, this card's kind of sick. Uh, it's any two level sevens, cannot be destroyed by card effects while it has material. And while it has material, each time your opponent activates a card or effect, inflict 500 damage to your opponent immediately after it resolves. And then once per turn, quick effect, you can detach and exceed material, target a Red Eyes Normal in your graveyard, special summon it. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's kind of like a Cyber Dragon Nova mixed with like a, a Masquerade, if any of you, you know, play like modern Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's just like a sick effect. I mean, 500 per card adds up pretty quick. The side deck just has some specific stuff like Eccentric, Wing Beat, Anti-Spell, Mistake, and Stygian Dirge, depending on the matchup. But like I said, I feel like in Jank, big monsters usually end up winning a lot of the time, especially if they're sticky. And so maybe this is good enough. Maybe we'll be dropping some Archfiend Black Skull Dragons on Joseph and uh, we're going to burn him into oblivion. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Joseph, I can't even remember the last time you were in the tank. I feel like it's been months. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, this thing, um, it, it, it almost, it's, it's stale, if nothing else. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I'm excited. I think the last few decks that I have on my wheel are actually, I don't want to say they're good, don't get me wrong, but they're, I guess, neat, or they got like some fun stuff, and I think they're like decks that people enjoy watching. I don't know about your decks and what you've got going on over there, but I feel like your decks are uh, usually pretty enjoyable. How are you feeling? Better, <laughs> Be better, better. I will say better than better than Dyson Sphere Turbo. A little you better, sure? a little better than Dyson Sphere Turbo. I will say, um, yeah, um, I don't know. I I do appreciate that you knocked out the terrible ones. I'm shocked that you won with one of them, and uh, now we're gonna see if I can uh, clean some up with uh, the dregs on my board. Yeah, we'll see. Indeed, we'll see. Indeed, shout the patron RPG. Thank you for the support. Do you have the hand up? No. All right, I got it. All right, I rolled a four for. I don't think I have a single level four monster in my deck, but I might be wrong. I rolled a one. How many times I'll need to resolve a very specific card? Great. Not looking forward to that based on yeah. the sleeves. Let's all right. see if you uh, look forward luck. to going first. Yeah. Uh, oh. All the more reason. Okay. I actually feel okay about this. I'm going to draw a standby main. You I'll can go. have a thousand. Oh, I'll points. take it. I'll take a thousand. You got it. All right. Uh, and then this is... <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're doing. Go oh, ahead. okay. Sounds good. Stand great deck. Me. Great deck. Yep. Um. Well, let's start by normal summoning Gem Armadillo. There yeah. it is. Uh, Gem Armadillo is fine. I, I bet Coder is going to be loving this episode. All right. We're going to grab a Gem Knight from deck to hand, and we're going to grab okay. Obsidian. Seems pretty good. Where do we go from here? You make a Phantom Quartz, right? That card's legal. Ha ha. All right, uh, we are going to go Gem Knight Fusion. I feel like I have to do this or I'm dead. Oh my God. <laughs> this card's back. It's not history anymore, buddy. Oh, come on. I can't beat this shit. To be honest, if I don't oh, draw a specific man. card, I don't think I can beat it either. All right. <laughs> cool. Go. Another Gem Armadillo. Oh, Jesus. Right. I'm going to just get beat down by Armadillos. You're, you're yep. getting fucked eventually. At some point, yep. you are really going to... It's right now, as a matter of fact. I have one turn. That does not do anything under these circumstances. It may buy me a turn, but I also don't want you to know what I'm up to. I don't know. Normal Tourmaline. Great deck. Great, great uh, game. Awesome game. Great awesome game. game. <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah, um, I, I want to tell you about how bad it was, but you don't know what I'm playing yet, so I kind of want to keep that hidden. I kind of want to, I know what you're playing, but honestly, I think I have to go first. Yeah, hey. I don't hey, know if that's correct. If you insist, buddy, if you insist. Okay. Oh my God. I feel like I needed that to be in the deck. Why is this so bad? Okay. Okay. I think I have to make this play because otherwise we're not like doing anything. Dragon Shrine. I'm going to dump the all-powerful... Red Eyes Black Dragon to the graveyard. <laughs> uh-huh. Now, this is a normal monster, so I'm allowed to send another dragon from my deck to the grave, and I will send the Black Stone of Legend. <laughs> I will use the graveyard effect of the Black Stone of Legend to shuffle the Red Eyes into my deck and add this to my hand. I'm still with you. I will set two cards and pass this. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Standby. Yeah. Main. All good. All right. Suck my dick, idiot. That better not be oh, vanities. Oh, great. Gemini fusion. Yep. All right. We are going to fuse. Damn, I want to make the big one. The zirconia. We're going to send garnet and lapis to the graveyard. Uh, Typically, garnet's a garnet, but not in its own deck. For lapis lazuli. Sure. 
Uh, we will activate the effect of Lapis Lazuli um, by sending a Gem Knight from our main or extra to the graveyard. We are going to send Gem Knight Lazuli. And I'll take 500 since that's the only special summon monster on the field. And then we're going to activate Lazuli to grab this uh, Lapis back to hand. Sure. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> next up, we are going to activate another Gem Knight fusion. Okay. Uh, we are going to fuse... Gem Knight Lapis and Crystal Rose. Okay. Into Gem Knight Zirconia. Big boy. We are going to activate Gem Knight Fusion's graveyard effect uh, oh, to banish, I guess, Garnet and add this back to our hand. Yep. Um, And I think, I think we're Gucci here. We're just going to go combat. I'm hoping that that's the rock. Uh, we'll just attack here. It is Carbonetin. Oh, all right. Uh, 24, 29. <laughs> I'll take 24, 29. Yep. All right. Uh, back to you. Okay. We got some work to do here. We'll draw. Oh, excellent. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, I did not shuffle my deck after putting this go red it, eyes buddy. back on top. <laughs> so I'm going to go do. ahead and do that. Yeah. Thank you, Log. I appreciate that. I'm going to draw it anyway, knowing me. Ah, uh, that's actually infinitely better. Okay. Now we can game a bit. Okay. Uh... We're going to go Blackstone of Legend. Blackstone of Legend effect. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and bring out, may shock you, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. There it is. Don't believe that has to be in defense. No, I think it does not. Yeah. is just defense. Yeah, that can go in attack. Okay, we're going to banish Carbon Eden anyway. Uh, any level seven or lower dragon normal? Well, thankfully, Red Eyes Flare Dragon is a Gemini. That is true. So that works. Uh, uh, if I, not... I think it doesn't. Because oh, it's, does it's it not? only a normal while it's in the field or the graveyard. Fucking Gemini effect. Okay, I can do this in the reverse order. I can Blackstone for Flare and I can Carbon Eden for Red Eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, same order. It doesn't matter because I'm overlaying anyway. It's mm -hmm. fine. This guy is a oh, cool large seven that we can go for. Uh, let's go ahead and detach here. Mm -hmm. We're going to take your Zirconia. Next, uh, I'm actually going to detach the regular red eyes. Put this back on here. Next, we're going to go Foolish Burial. Uh-oh. Yep. I'm going to dump the Summon Skull. <laughs> Dragon's Mirror. Oh my god. I'm gonna banish the Red Eyes and the Summon Skull for Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Jesus. <laughs> He's huge! He's 32! Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get his effect because I don't have a Red Eyes uh, normal monster in the grave because I had to banish it for the effect. But that's fine, honestly, because I get to get a shit ton of damage in here, so it's okay. Uh, we'll go battle. We'll take out your Lazuli. I take eight here. Take eight. Uh, then we'll go 12 and then 26. Uh, well, he can't attack, but I'll take the 12. No, the big guy can't attack. You're right, because I stole your uh, Zirconia, but that's fine by me. Uh, I'll pass. Go ahead. All right. Uh, stand by. Have fun. Uh, <laughs> man, you were so <laughs> fucking dead. You were just dead in town. Oh, shit. Oh, man. All right. That is like the best card you could have ripped, too. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better not draw vanities for the third time. <laughs> uh, three times in three games. What do you mean, buddy? It's a one of. Oh, what are the what chances? What, what are the mean? chances? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a one of for you. Oh, I forgot. You're making me go first because yeah, you want OTK. Yeah, I, I forgot that's how this works. You're getting okay. one turn, asshole. I do. I could try my best. All right. We're going to start with cards of the red stone. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So we're going to pitch this red eyes, draw two, and then we get to bin a level seven red eyes from our deck to grave. Cool. So... Uh, we'll get rid of the flare. Don't know if it really matters, but we'll just get rid of them. I don't really know, like, like against you exactly what I'm trying to do exactly. It's like some things. I think I kind of just want to set and pass. Well, it it can't be vanities. That's that's good. It can't be vanities. Um, Gem Knight Fusion. Sure. Lazuli Tourmaline. Zuli's always good for fusion. Uh, we are going to go for... Wait, wait, let me check the type on Lazuli. Okay, good. I was like, can we actually do something Rock. funnier? Uh, no, we can't. Um, Yeah, we're just going to make Zirconia here. It is what it is. Uh, we'll go Lazuli here. Grab back Tourmaline. Sure. Uh, and then uh, let's get ready, asshole. Jesus. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, we are going to send Crystal Rose and... Maybe maybe we just go for broke. 
Do we have any guys that just pop face downs? Uh, let's go Lapis and Obsidian. Sure. For the, the woman. Uh, yep. We'll go Obsidian target Lapis. Yep. Uh, Lazuli effect. I'll take 15 here. Oh, wait. Uh, Obsidian doesn't trigger here. Sorry, we'll do someone else. Oh, because that's to go from hand. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> the joy of this deck. We'll send Lapis and a Gem Knight monster. Kind of want to just send Lazuli again. That doesn't seem right. Let's send Garnet. Uh, we'll grab Lapis Lazuli. Uh, we will activate Lapis Lazuli. We will send... And dump and I'll take a thousand. Abba dub Lazuli. We're going to activate the effect. We'll add back Lapis. Uh, we are going to activate Gem Fusion here. We're going to banish this Lapis. We are going to activate Gem Knight Fusion. Uh, we are going to do Lazuli, Lady Lazuli, and Lapis for Master Diamond. Master Diamond, yeah. We'll go Lazuli, Target Lapis. We'll go Master Diamond, Banish Lapis Lazuli. We'll go... It copies it. Fusion, banish Lazuli, and then we will go Fusion. Dueling Book is just overwhelmed by your plays. We'll send Tourmaline and Lapis. Grab our last Lazuli. Uh, let's grab Fusion here. Uh, we'll wait on Fusion, actually, because we want the extra 100 on Master Diamond. Uh, let's go Lapis Lazuli. Take 15 here. Yeah. Um, send... Any gem knight from your main or extra. Ooh, we could send one of the gem knights to later copy with master diamond. That's crazy. We ain't doing that shit, though. Yeah, let's send a lady brilliant diamond. Uh, combat. Sure. Uh, 24. Carboneddin again. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Ooh. Man. Oh, my God. Brilliant fusion uh, is so broken. Holy shit. Yeah, like, the fact that none of these cards have, like, once per turns <sighs> is crazy. It's Or if they are, they're, like, softs, right? And uh, just, like, there's so much recyclability, and just, oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, Master Diamond's a soft. Lapis Lazuli's a soft. Fusion just doesn't say once per turn anywhere on the card. No. Neither does Lazuli. Um, there's some... Uh, Brilliant Fusion is a, a hard one, so, you know, that's something. Um, but to be fair, Brilliant Fusion is the most broken card in the deck. Yeah, so. as is Absorb <laughs> Fusion. But outside of that, okay. yeah, everything else is just like, hey, if it happens, it happens, baby. And uh, it just lets you extend infinitely, as you saw there. That's pretty sick. It's, it's, I've always loved Gem Knights for their ability to like do stuff like this. And later gets the FDK. I think instinctively, I miscited because I had these eccentrics in my hand. Ah, uh, well. Uh, and I'm like, I'm, I'm so used to like just shotgunning going uh, or expecting because uh, I won that you would be going first. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just take out all this and have something for the crackback. But yeah, when you make me go first, I don't think this would have been what uh, my going first side was anyway, mm -hmm. because I had stuff like mistake and anti spell. But I think I swapped those out for other cards so i don't think it would have mattered in, in any case the, the problem is this deck just has like like what unless you're going turn one and you're able to set up like a flare metal that's like maybe the best turn one play this deck can produce or yeah. like draco sack i just like don't really see there's why would you make an archfiend black skull dragon if there's like no reason to he's just a big dude at the end of the day uh i mean i had a redstone i had dragon's mirror if i managed to find my way oh that would have been a good card but i don't think i had enough darks in the grave to get there um actually i would have after uh blackstone that would have been pretty sick the red eyes cards they definitely didn't get the blue eyes treatment that's for sure uh <laughs> they tried to mimic a lot of the stuff blue eyes has like you know black stone of legend versus white stone of legend but the, the gimmicks that they gave Red Eyes, because I think they were trying to play off the whole like Inferno Fire Blast motif and like dealing damage uh, direct because that's what uh, Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon does, but it's a fucking Gemini for some reason. Archfiend Black Skull Dragon does the same thing and he's gigantic and he's huge. The problem is you just have to play like so many bad cards. And I didn't see Red Eyes Fusion once this entire episode, which is like, you know, supposed to be like one of the best cards in the deck, but... It is what it is. And aside from that, you're just playing a bunch of shit because your deck's polluted with summon skulls and red eyes and like just, just a bunch of just vanillas that most of the time don't do anything. I think my hand game one was something to the effect of like two vanilla red eyes black dragons, a dragon's mirror, 
and like two or three other cards that had no interaction with one another, which is why I literally just had Vanity's Feet pass or Vanity's Emptiness pass the first game. Uh, and that's the Red Eyes story, right? There's just like not enough tools compared to Blue Eyes in order for this deck to really just uh, match its power. But that's, that's the story of Red Eyes, right? It's always the inferior uh, cousin of the uh, fabled dragons of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, um, it, it's strange. I think these two decks are kindred spirits in a way and that they both are unplayable during this period uh, for the same reason, right? Like, um, uh, the Gem Knights have to contest decks that are going first and setting up, like, some number of negates or cards that prevent yep. you from activating effects. And while they are a super capable OTK deck, they really don't have the ability to press through cards like, like you had, Vanity's Emptiness or Mistake or right. Lose One Turn or any of the bullshit that people were playing during this period, let alone something like a shit-all construct, right? Absolutely. Red Eyes Black Dragon, another really capable OTK strategy, or at least able to put out big bosses that do damage. Um, but like you said, not a lot of ability to do much going first. You know, you were kind of hoping that the monster off Red Eyes Fusion lives, which is a bit of a pipe dream in a format that includes Castell. Plus, yep. you know, like Dracosax cool, but like he was cool in 20 like 2013 and uh yep. you know we're not there anymore um the difference is that the gemini deck would eventually get more stuff right while um lady lapis lazuli uh loops get strong enough that like you can burn people out to a position where like a master diamond attack can be lethal uh, the same cannot be said for Red Eyes. Um, this deck will, in coming years, get stuff like Block Dragon, which of course puts it into unfair territory. It will get um, monsters that are worth going into in the extra deck. Uh, right now, the extra deck is all fusion monsters, and that's because uh, you have to play Absorb Fusion, which uh, mm -hmm. locks you into Gem Knights, or in, in, yeah, into Gem Knight monsters. Uh, but eventually, people start thinking, well, why don't we just like take two Lapis Lazulis and just overlay them, right? And as the uh, right. the four pool and the eight pool get a little more expansive, there ends up being a lot more you can do with this strategy. Uh, you know, that said, it, it still is a pretty good indicator of why Brilliant Fusion is just such an unbelievable card. You probably are familiar with this card from like um, Ascend snow to the graveyard in order to get an extra normal but in its associated deck it is even better it, which is unbelievable to think of a card that's already this powerful yeah two things the one last thing i do want to say about these two decks is that uh despite being kind of mid otk strategies these were expensive as hell at the time yep uh i remember yep. the gem knights being a lot because there was a lot of hype around brilliant fusion and because people thought that those cards were good cards like absorb fusion were money too if i recall correctly blackstone was like a 70 dollar card like it was a secret Rare. It had the anime tax. Oh, yep. I, I think, if I recall, I think these cards were released in Clash of Rebellion, I want to say, and mm -hmm. every single like card that had red eyes or anything to do with red eyes was ultra or above. Yeah. I think the lowest rarity card in this deck was probably red eyes black flare dragon, and it was a super, and this card was also still just like $7 yeah. for no reason or some like ridiculous amount. Uh, again, because the anime tax is in effect, that that's going to happen. Also, too, with the Gem Knight deck, a lot of the stuff came in, like, DT rarity as well. Oh, which, yeah. Granted, there was, like, hidden arsenal stuff, but, man, the price tag on this deck was crazy. And... The thing is, these decks are obviously not treated equally either, because as you said, with coming support, you know, Block Dragon and such, we didn't even get to Link Monsters. Phantom Quartz might be one of the craziest pieces of support for any archetype I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I can't wait till I get to summon that guy. I, I can't, because that's an FTK. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, Phoenix the Immortal, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Jordan Coons, Cody Bretz, Dylan Hunter, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Dalton, Flannel Daddy, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, I've tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Helios515, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel bio community soon, cancel bio committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Corvain, Uncle Brian of Stardust, and Candyman, 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 Candyman. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.